This is the braid pattern that I use. I actually do twists because I'm not very good at cornrows. So I just improvise and pin them up with body pins. Now I have an actual tutorial showing you guys step by step how to clip in the clippings and I'll leave that in the description box but for now I just want to show you guys how I refresh my curls using TGIN green tea super moist leave-in conditioner and half water. I put it in the spray bottle and mix it up and if I need to detangle I most of the time just use my fingers or that Denman brush that I just showed. And I just find it easiest to detangle with each clip-in rather than putting all the clip-ins in and trying to detangle it all at once. So I put the clip-ins in my hair as if I was doing a U part and then I just unraveled the braids or twists that I had sectioned off not to be included in the hair. Next, I'm just going to part my hair down the middle, spray it a little bit more just to dampen it, and begin applying TGIN's Curl Balm Moisturizing Style Gel. Now, I've really just been going crazy over TGIN products lately, and they work really, really, really well on her giving hair clippings. So if you guys want to check those out, I would strongly suggest it. It works really well with the hair. Next, I'm just making sure that this back section is enough hair to go over and lay flat across the clip-ins so that you can't see any of the tracks. And I'm flat twisting the front sections of my hair with the clip-ins and securing them with bobby pins. As you can see here, the back of my hair really blends well with the clip-ins and it looks just as good as it did when I first started using these clip-ins. Next, I'm just taking my TGIN Smooth and Hold Edge Control and laying down my baby hair. Here it's not important for it to look too perfect because I kind of like the wispy look that this gives. This next style is done the same exact way when it comes to braid pattern and how you lay your clippings besides when you get to the top of your head. Rather than doing the U-part method here, I place the tracks from ear to ear still all the way up just so that it'll look more natural when I go ahead and put my hair up in the ponytail. After all the clippings are installed in order for you to have a full look, you just put your hair up in a very, very loose ponytail because it's not even going to be secured by the ponytail as much as it's going to be secured by bobby pins. This is a look with a lot of volume. It's very big, so I didn't really want to tame it too much. So putting the bobby pins there instead of having a really tight ponytail just works better for me. And then I just lay my baby hairs down with that same edge control from TGIN that I was using before. As many of you guys probably know, this next look is one of my go-to styles and I'm just slicking my hair back the way that I usually do. I actually have a full tutorial on how to do it. If you guys want to check that out, I'll put it in the description box below.
The trick to putting clip-ins over your bun is to make sure that the teeth are going away from the bun rather than towards the bun. So if you look carefully, you can kind of see what I'm doing here. After that, I'm just going to kind of twist the bun up and wrap it around my hair. This last look is another one of my go-to styles. It is actually the same thing, but in high bun form. So I'm slicking my hair up the way that I usually do. Next, I'm just gonna put the clip-ins in the same way that I did it before. With this one, you can actually use up to, I would say two to three sets of clip-ins, but for this look, I'm just using one. After that, all there is to do is lay your edges. Again, I'm using the TGIN Smooth and Hold Edge Control. And then I'm just gonna throw on some big hoop earrings because I feel like I kinda have to wear them every time I wear my hair in a high bun and then you're pretty much done.